In the last video, I talked about quality of ingredients being very important, especially in animal products. Something else very important is getting a variety of foods, especially certain foods, certain strategies. In the book that I mentioned in my introduction video, uh, Deep Nutrition, there are what's called the four pillars of world cuisine, or the four pillars of the human diet. And it's four food strategies that have been used around the world uh, for many, many hundreds and thousands of years to sustain humanity. And we've been moving away from many of those things uh, for a long time. So those things, very briefly, are meat cooked on the bone and bone broth. So there are many really great nutrients in bones that, especially in America, we typically cut the meat off the bone and then cook it. And we lose out on a lot of those nutrients in the bones and the joints, especially, that keep our joints healthy and strong and rebuild them as they break down over time. The second pillar is uh, organ meats and uh, different parts of the animal that again, in this country, we tend to not eat. In many parts of the world, it's normal to eat the liver, eat the kidneys, eat all different many parts of the body. Oh, tendons are a really great one that get overlooked. Tendons, uh, again, tendons and joints are things that do a lot for us, and if we damage them or don't repair them as fast as we break them down, we have a really rough go later in life. Poor joints, arthritis, um, and just uh, a more difficult time uh, moving and enjoying life. The third pillar is uh, a big one. It's soaked, sprouted, and fermented, and it talks about what it means to do is take certain foods and make them less damaging and more bioavailable. So more nutritious and less harsh. Many plants have defenses, have ways of storing their, their nutrients that make it difficult to get them. And cooking does a lot to free up a lot of those nutrients and uh, get rid of a lot of what's harsh and damaging, especially cellulose that is very strong and difficult for our digestive system to break down. Uh, however, that doesn't always do it. So oatmeal, for example, will benefit from soaking with water and yogurt to uh, do a lot of things that um, are a little too in-depth for this video regarding phytic acid and enzyme inhibitors. Uh, but in short, it prepares the grain to be ready to eat rather than really damaging to the system. Many grains are very damaging to the system, which is why they need to be soaked, sprouted, fermented, one or many of those things. The fourth pillar is fresh. And fresh means a few different things. It can mean not too much time passing between harvesting and ingesting. So shopping a bit more often, getting your food a bit more uh, fresh, maybe from the farmer's market. Um, but not sitting for many weeks on end before being used. Um, fresh also means uh, having certain things raw. Not everything raw, not raw all the time, but uh, certain plants and animals, uh, having them raw from time to time in the form of a salad, in the form of steak tartare, which is a raw meat dish, in the form of raw egg yolks, in the form of raw milk, um, when things are cooked, many things you do want to cook them to make them more uh, digestible and more available. Uh, but cooking also kills enzymes, and enzymes are very helpful in digestion, uh, digestion as well. And so having a mixture of some things raw and getting those live enzymes and some things cooked and having them more easy to break down. These are the four pillars of the human diet. These are the variety that are are so important that has sustained humanity over long periods of time. The uh, what to avoid, that largely wasn't around for much of human history, so it was much easier. It was have fresh quality ingredients prepared well and made digestible. Now we have to add in what to avoid because there are certain things that have become so damaging. Again, they're commercial seed oils, also known as vegetable oils and high amounts of sugar and refined carbohydrates. Hope that's helpful.